Yo, yo, what is up, everybody? This is Hunt Gaming here, back at you in the FS22 video, guys. What is going on? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day, guys. Um, we're just here at the deer, deal the deer dealership on Deer Creek, um, the Deer Creek map that just came to FS22, guys. And we're actually here picking up our brand new 72 inch zero turn John Deere diesel lawnmower. Um, this thing is a beast, it should make mowing our yard easy. Um, now we just moved into town guys. We bought a hundred and fifty six point five three hundred and fifty six point fifty three acres um, So we got some pretty decent amount of land and uh, It's just right outside of town. So we got ourselves some land and we are going to do our very best to um, And that's just farmland that doesn't count probably the three acres we have at the house, but um, We're gonna get it all farmed up and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun we're here in our 2020 um, Ram 2500 Hemi stock for the most part. I mean, I put a bumper on it and stuff, but the wheels and everything like that are 100% stock. So we're headed up here to the house, guys, and um, I'm going to see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, so we're just pulling up here. Right there's the farm. Now, this is going to be a little different than most of the things we do, guys, because this is a very big setup. Um, we're not going small game no more guys. This is a very large farming setup that we got going on here um, We got a big grain facility. We got big equipment big tractors big everything combines everything's big We got semis trailers. Gr I mean auger wagons you name it. We've got it. It's this is this is not child's play kind of thing anymore um, So we're gonna run inside here guys, and I kind of want to show you guys what kind of equipment we got so far um, so as you guys can see right here, we have two Mac anthems with a sleeper and they both have identical Wilson pace setter trailers on them. And then over here we got the nine, the 9620 R. So the nine R right there. And then we have a nine RX right here, which is the 9620 RX too. Same thing. Just one has tracks and one has wheels. And then back here, guys, we have two identical S six nineties. These are two 2015 model. Um, combines we got number one and number two right here. They are identical. They have uh, aftermarket grain Bins up there on the top to hold a little more and then back here in the back guys. That's right. We got the 4960 boys We brought it back. So um, 4960 from grandpa's farm is here and we're just doing a little bit of work to it because you know It's been like 20 years since it's been ran hard. So we're doing a little bit of work to that and then like I said we have our um Mac anthems here, which are pretty nice trucks right there. And then obviously we have our Dodge and our um, our mower there. And then in here, guys, we have this uh, cultivator. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's just one of the in-game cultivators. No big deal. And then we have the John Deere 1775 NT planer right there. Um, we have the Hallmaster, uh, the 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 Hallmaster auger wagon right here, boys. That's a beautiful piece of machinery. That normally goes behind the 9R. And then right here we have our two foldable um, corn heads for the combines. So that's going to be good too. Um, and then also, I'll show you guys on the map here in a second what we own. But I need to get these doors shut. And then also over there in the back of this shop, we have a workstation where we can like work on equipment and stuff. Um, change out wheels or tires or whatever we have to do pretty much just customization station kind of thing is really what it is And then obviously we have our fuel tank here for getting fuel in the equipment that we need fuel in at the time We're just gonna leave that there for now and then obviously like I said here's our shop We got a workstation in there and two bay shop um, So yeah, that's pretty much what we got going on so far guys. We have this humongous GSI grain silo System going on it is ginormous love it go big or go home and then obviously we have the house up here um, eventually I do want to bring a fence right up this I don't want any thing from the farm getting in our um, yard so eventually I do want to fence off that with some more of this white fence but for now this works pretty good so um, I'm gonna kind of show you guys what we own here so if you look right here on my map we own so we're right here, we're right here where all this equipment is, and we own this big field right here, guys. It is 156.53 acres. Um, it's a humongous farm, 
and just a really big field and we actually it has has sorghum in it so we'll probably not i'm i'm not really think i don't think we're gonna harvest the sorghum um i think that we're probably just gonna go ahead and scrap that because i don't really want it and i don't really want to have to take the time to harvest it and so i think we're probably just going to end up um we're probably just going to end up going ahead and uh, cultivating all this field out. But that is it. It's 156.53 acres. Um, I have a sheet here that tells me how much, how many acres the farm is. So that's how big that one is. But um, pretty, pretty big farm. We got a lot of land so far. I mean, we're probably going to want some more eventually. But this is definitely a good start to our new farm. So we're actually going to get in the dodge real quick guys and I want to pull this thing up there by the house and I don't know how long we're going to be keeping this truck. Um, I'm just trying to use this one until I'm working on another truck but I'm trying to use this one until it gets done. So no big deal there but it is a nice mod it's just I don't like it's not my kind of thing but it is a really nice mod you know and if we were like doing like a luxury camping or something I'd probably take it but for a farm truck I don't want a 2021 ram um so yeah that's kind of what we got going on guys so i think we're actually going to go ahead and start getting into the fields today i think that's going to be the best bet start cultivating up all those fields so i'm going to run over here real quick to the shop we're going to get the probably the 9r or the 9rx I, i'd say probably the 9r out and we're going to go get it hooked up to the cultivator guys because like i said we got to get out there and get to work we got 156 acres to do get cultivated that's a lot to do and a little time to do it we're gonna let that thing warm up now this is an insulated shed and it is heated also we have an office right in here which is pretty sick this was taken actually on this farm three years ago guys that is a picture of us combining on the farm um so that's pretty awesome but over here we got deer creek we got Deer Creek pulled up on the computer and apparently UK basketball teams and everything. So that's cool. But we're going to get in the 9R guys and we're going to go hook up to, to the cultivator. And we got a lot of land to get cultivated and a little time to do it. Um, it is September. So we, like I said, we just, we have to get something done pretty quickly here. Um, it is September and... Which isn't really, it, just, it isn't a big deal, but uh, I like to get all of my field work like this done before I have to worry about rushing to plant and stuff. I just feel like it makes it a lot easier if it's just already done. That way whenever planting season does come around, all we have to do is jump in the field and start planting. Um, it makes it a lot easier, I think, at least. So we're going to get this thing unfolded here, guys, and we're going to, hopefully the 9R can handle it. It should be able to handle it without a issue. I mean, it's a very, very big tractor, but um, this map is public, guys. Just go online and type in FS22 Deer Creek Farm, and you guys should be able to find this map. That's how I found it. Very nice map. I was going to do this series, guys, on um, County Line, like the 1990 series, but... I just felt like we needed something a little bit different and I didn't want to I just didn't want to do the county line thing again because those fields they're big but they're just I just county lines old and this map is a very new map that I I personally have never played um, I don't know if it was on FS19 or not but I do know that I personally have never played this map but uh, so far I'm really enjoying it I mean it's a really nice looking map it kind of reminds me a little bit of Lone Oak, which, guys, I'm just going to throw it out. I cannot wait until Lone Oak comes to FS22. But it, it kind of just gives me that Lone Oak feeling kind of vibe, yeah, I guess. I mean, maybe a little different, but it's close. It's the closest thing I've seen so far. So we're going to get to work in this field, guys, and I'm going to see you whenever we get a little closer to done. All right, guys, so we got um, all of this front area. Oh, my tractor's running away from me. Anyway, 
Sorry, we have all this front area done. Um, we do have one pass made around in the entire field. So we have all this. This is what I call the front section. Um, we have all of it plowed and done. So that's good there. And then up there by the road. Directly in front of us. We have a little bit done up there as well. But for the most part. Um, I think this is going to be the end of my field work for today at least. Because this is. You know 100 and 156 acres. This is going to take quite a while. Um, but. We have all of, like I said, we have all of this done right here in the front area. Um, and then we have this up here in this front area done as well. So we're making some pretty decent progress, but um, we're just going to call it a day for now. Uh, one of my buddies did bring a case tractor down here for us to test out. So we do have that here for a little while until he comes back into town he went on vacation and was like hey i'll let you borrow this see if you like it while i'm gone so we have this case magnum right here 400 beautiful tractor um i'm more of a deer guy myself but you know what it is what it is and then that's pretty much i mean pretty much showed you guys everything we have we have the wilson's the everything around here now i'm thinking about selling the 9rx um I don't know yet. I'm just I'm thinking about it. So we might end up selling the 9RX pretty soon. But we got to get that field done eventually. So, but thank you guys so so much for watching. I think this is gonna be the episode for today, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we post more farming series videos, guys. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.